Okay, that's good. Um, all right, guys. So what's up? Though finally back to the setting. Um, I actually got a quick do I really want to. So yeah, how you guys been? It's been about for me anyway. It's been like, what I think two days or about a day since I recorded. So I'm kind of trying to pace myself a little bit. I have done some videos in terms of recording. I have done them. I've uploaded. I'm not uploaded them yet. But you know, I'm still going through it and everything like that. So yeah, I'm figure I just like you know kind of start out with my face and videos like this. Then you know kind of go on a little bit. Just do something a little bit different, I guess, for the year. But yeah, um, I was gonna do this last year. Then I was like, eh. But yeah, um. I know I've been fixing my hair a lot, um, we kind of went this morning. But, um, yeah, we did get Tekken Merch, also his EZA info. We got all the cool junk over here and everything like that. So, yeah, his EZA might be really good, because he was already good before. He did a lot of damage before. I have my rainbow, actually. So, yeah, when this comes to global, you're going to showcasing and stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully I'm going to try to, maybe. So, so, let's get this stuff started. Okay, so I'm going to pull my face right here. Let's go up a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Turn off the light. Okay, so yeah, we did get Merz and Mazda's um, Easy 8 info right here. So yeah, it's, I mean, I haven't seen it at all yet. But I know Goresh actually did kind of like go over it a little bit and everything like that. Um, just, you know, a little stuff like that here and there. But, um, yeah, though. Um, it looks like it's going to be probably good and everything like that as well. Um, then right here, of course, you have the full on Easy 8 info. Shout out to Goresh, though, for translating this stuff. So for some Mazda, he does his old, I think it's his old one, right? Um, okay, so the old one, let me see. His old little skill. It says Wrath of the Absolute God. Um, okay, so okay, so yeah, okay, okay, I see it now. So yeah, for so a new Easy A leader skill, he does extreme types Q with three, everything up hundred percent. That's good though. That's really good for me if you want to run him as a leader. I'll probably do that as well because he's really, he's gonna be really good. Plus, you can run him and um, other merchant monsters like transforming one because I think they technically have different names. But um, you should probably still run the same team. His um, is easy. Um, is it causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. It raises um, extreme um, class allies um, attack for one turn, thirty by thirty percent for one turn. That's good. It's always good for a mini little support that unit as well. So for his um. Passive now for new easy a passive um super class enemies attack and defense minus twenty percent um super class allies um attack minus um ten percent and own attack goes about one hundred forty percent extreme class allies uh extreme class realm of gods category allies um the defense plus fifty percent so I guess so basically if you're fighting off against a hero I guess uh, half the time but you will half the time um. You can like this. Is, he's good. But he's really good though. Like he, I mean, he's basically support type unit from World of Gods and Extreme Class. I feel like you can run him on that team because you know he will have some length, like Fuse Fighter. Um, you know, because he's, he's he's really gonna be going World of Gods anyway. So yeah, it's like. I mean, he's gonna be good anyway, so. I mean, he's really good. He's he's basically built in like a support type unit. Kind of like how Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is. Um, and Bardock, like, he's basically a support type unit when you hit a certain um, HP threshold. But he's like a mixture of that and um, a hitting card. Because he already hits hard anyway, so. I have my rainbow, so on global, so you already know it. So also, in the, for global, right here, just a little bit of news right here. We did get, um, the, we are getting, like, the um, full on 78s, you know, the special year camp, new year campaign and stuff like that. They did come out on JP when um, Piccolo came out, so yeah, like, we just gotta, you know, focus up like that, basically. I mean, you know, if we read likes and tweet, uh, likes and, like, retweets and stuff like that, you know, we get prizes and stuff like that. Like that as well and as we go on with the missions it'll be, it'll be like hey um you know more retweet re 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 retweets wheat tweets <laughs> um we'll get you know like that person's easy like for example like right here for some um, super like for android 13 per evil boo um the more likes and stuff like that we get the more we'll um get I'm back, so I had to do something really quick. Um, but yeah, like it, the more like the re retweets we get, the more like we can unlock all these EVAs for all of the characters and stuff like that. So yeah, it will be up until like what the 12th. So that's cool and everything like that for Global. I'm glad Global's getting this because these EVAs, he's my favorite one out of all these. Though. I love his good. He's gonna be really good. I think I gave my full additionals. Um, but yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be really good. Like he's amazing. Like they're all gonna be good. Also, the um, Duck Fist Piccolo banner is live on Global as well. Um, it doesn't really say too much about it though. I think they changed out um, Vegeta for name Goku. Um, I think that because I know they just did that as well. That's like I know I was like, oh my gosh, Goku got a cheap move right here. I think the only reason um, Transform Vegeta is not on here because I think he's on the on New Year's dinner for Global. I guess they're kind of there. I know Medical is on there too. Um, and he just came back for like, you know, Chuckles and Matsu, but it's you know, um, it's typical stuff like that. I don't think he, yeah, he was on JP. Also, right here is just saying like basically, um, um, the weekend tickets for Global, um, the, 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 let me see, it says we can take it, we all got it. Um, I guess they're saying like, okay, you can't use them. Um, you know, I guess because they released them. They say because we got an announcement for the weekend tickets, but I guess we didn't get like, you know, um, 
Cause, you know, because the weekend it wasn't available, like you know, because the weekend stuff wasn't available and everything like that. Yeah, just seeing the Duck of Pickle Banner is live. You know, it's a typical few fights and stuff like that as well. Um, typical stuff like that. Um, here's I think it used cell. I guess he's we could get cell units. So basically, any of these cells will work. He's about his EZA. So if you want to use, if you want to wait and use him on there, it, it fits really easy. You can just you can basically run uh, steamroll engine that thing with any team. Um, also, yeah, Piccolo himself, he's like one of the best users in the game. He's really good. I do not recommend something for him, though. He's really good, though, but I don't really recommend doing it. He is the leader of the Rivals category, which just came out on Global recently, only because that um, Vegeta, the new Kaken Blue Goku and Vegeta event and stuff like that, just had them, so that's um, kind of why they're there-ish. Maybe? Hold up. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's why he's um, kind of there. I, I thought it was so, too. But yeah, that's why he's actually there. So yeah, his team is really good. The Worthy Rivals is a really good team. I was basically like all bad guys turned good. I should open this up earlier, but um, that's where basically this team kind of fits in as well. Um, but yeah, I guess he's, I guess oh yeah, Converse is going to be Vegeta and Sass. So yeah, for JP and Global, here's some team building. Yeah, this Vegeta actually came out with it first, so that's kind of cool and everything like that. Who else is down here? Um, actually, give me one. Yeah, sorry about all the quick edits there. Sorry, I just uh, just loud this. Um, but yeah, like this is the worthy rivals. This is a really good team. It's just that um, like the team's really good. It's just basically you know Vegeta's, Cells, Piccolo's, Pycons, I guess. Um, you know, typical stuff like that. Um, it's, it's a really good category. This Vegeta's gonna be good in the category. And um, I'm trying to think what else. Um. I'm so sorry about some of all these edits. Sorry, I just, it's really crazy. Um, but yeah, Piccolo, he is certainly one of the best units in the game. They edit that when he transforms, he's just better on top of that. Like, he's, like he's still stacking his defense, his attack, but um, you can't keep two of these guys on like a, for on the same like team and stuff like that because for in order for Piccolo to actually transform, you do have to have um, another Demekian on your team, um, category ally on your team. Um, which is not that bad. You can run him, you can run Nail, you can run, like, you can run both of the Piccolos on the same team. He, he counts as himself, so, you can have, like, this Piccolo and a friend Piccolo. Um, but yeah, he's, a, he's only good on his team, though, because if you try to run my other teams, he's not really fit that well. But you probably can, too. Nail's just, on, he's just the icing on the cake. He's more destructive. Like, Nail was good, like, these two are like, probably like one of the most broken combos in the game. Like you don't have like this Piccolo, you can have like your uh, you have the like, your Piccolo right here. You can have like another Piccolo transform. They can have Nail on there too. He's just broken. They're right here just going also Doken League, and he's insane too. That paragraph long passes. He's basically like a mini LR Frieza in the way. Like every time he does like uh, his key or like his I think health goes down a certain path or like when he's in when he's, when he's in specific spots. His um. He does different effects and stuff like that. So you kind of is basically, you know, a lot of freeze in there, type of sense. Now right here, the banner, of course, this is JP's banner, this is Global's banner. You can kind of tell it's, it's pretty cool going to the side. He's like, hey. But um, the banners, I think, are completely different in units, I think, for Global anyway. Let me go for Global. I think it's exactly the same. No. Okay, so yeah, JP's is different because um, is instead of, it's kind of weird because instead of Evolution Blue Vegeta and Tripling um, Vegeta. We have Namek Goku and Super Saiyan Bar Goku. Bar Goku. It's good. I just feel like why did they change it? Because Evolution Blue Vegeta is good. Kubara Goku is still good. He's uh, still good. I guess I, I guess because they want people to summon on the banner. It's kind of weird because you know they're worthy rivals. Goku really isn't on that category. Okay, but um, still. But overall, Piccolo, I do not recommend something like them. Even with the changes, I don't recommend it because you can get have these units like way later in the game. Plus, um, I just don't, no one's ever gonna really run Piccolo. But yeah, the banner is basically just, it's just the same as JP. Just switch Goku up from Vegeta. JP banner is still good, but I say Gold banner is only good because that turn from the Goku. I mean, this Goku is good, but the only reason they are changing up these banners now is because um, honestly though, they want people to summon. I don't recommend doing that. Also, we have the word rivals category banner on here as well. But yeah, it's not just really want to go over though today. The other really that long though, but yeah, I don't recommend something on the banner, even though it looks good, only because transforming Goku's on there and um. This is on there as well. I don't recommend doing it. But yeah, Mercy Mouse EZ is coming in a few more days. We got the um big collab EZ coming up as well soon. Um EZ campaign day that we have Mercy Mouse's EZ coming out soon as well. Really good stuff, really good everything. So yeah, um let me see. Yeah. So that's really good though for um, you know, global and everything like that. So yeah, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great life, all that cool junk. Tell me what you guys think. Lots of just stuff coming to um lots of stuff on global and JP right now. You know, because they tend to do this stuff a lot. So yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.